Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A very simple interview question and it can be used as a utility also that how to remove all the white spaces from a given string. Now space can come at the corner also like this and this case, uh, space can come after the completed string also and there are some spaces over here as well you can see that. So if you really want to remove the string uh, uh, spaces from the corners for example let's see if I'm right system dot or print talent there is a method dot trim method dot trim method will remove the spaces from corners it means this before space and then after space will be removed so when you uh, run this program what will happen so in this case you can see that okay the before space before t is gone and then after code also the space is gone but the actual thing is that we have to remove these spaces also like that right so in this case, what should I do? It means all the white spaces, all the, now the space is coming in the form of like that. Also multiple tabs are available. Let's see, I'll just put a tab over here. This is also a space like this. There is a blank line, uh, line space also could be there. So first of all, there are various methods are available. So if you really want to use, let's see, I simple write system dot or at Brent Allen, uh, see replace all. And then I want to replace all with what it means all the white spaces that I want to use it with plus I'll tell you what do you mean by plus and the replacement with what replacement with nothing so what will happen in that case if you run this so let me just comment it out I don't want to trim and then I will run it again so here you will see that okay yeah see all the white spaces before the space after space and the space which is coming between over here that also gone so this is called replace all method which is the inbuilt method which is already available in a string class and that's why we are using it now what do you mean by plus over here so if i remove plus what will happen this will also remove the spaces so the output will remain same but this is slightly slower than as compared to s plus plus means it will collect all the spaces and remove together and if you don't write plus over here it means it will remove the spaces one by one first remove uh, this one then this one and this one and this one like that so that's why you will get a better performance if you write backslash s plus over here and this single backslash i'm using it for the uh, escaping character over here but the actual this is a regular expression for what for the white spaces so this is a inbuilt method that we are using it there is one more class is available if you have heard about it that is called a string utils class you can that also you can use it so i'll simply write a string utils dot and there is a method remove white or delete white spaces let me just yeah this one delete white spaces and then give your input string over here and then delete after deleting it will give you another string and then i'm going to print it on the console let's see this one so this also an existing utility which is already available this is my java code will be printed over here like that okay so these are what these are the inbuilt methods are available you have trim from the corner so replace all and then we have delete white space also available but what if at a time of interview someone is asking without using any inbuilt function then how will you do that so then it's very simple i'll just split this particular um, uh, split this particular string and then i'll keep uh, appending okay with the within a for loop something like this i can use it so let's see how to do that so for doing this let me i'm going to write the code over here so first i'll do one thing i'll start a for loop here okay and then i'll start a for loop from integer for example i is equal to zero and uh, i for example let's see there is no initial space like that okay i'm removing the initial space and then we will do the proper testing later on so let's see this is my uh, actual string is available having some spaces in between and then i'm writing i less than what this uh, new string dot up to the length of this particular string and then i plus plus okay so let's see this is what i have written and then i'll be using what i'll be using one if and then i'm using that uh, whatever this new string that you are using it i can use one char at okay character at at ith position if is not equal to then what if it is not equal to any space and then i have to handle one more thing over here that is the new string dot character at and i i'll be using which is not equal to any let's see any tab is also available like that okay so these are the two uh, things let's see that i have a uh, return then i'll do one thing i'll maintain one single uh, let's see uh, uh, space a uh, string which is equal to initially what nothing like that and then i'll keep appending 
whatever no white space is equal to white space plus uh, whatever the new string that you are using a dot character at at ith position you just keep appending over here and once the for loop is done I'll do one thing I'll just print this guy or will return something from the function right now I'm not writing any function so let's see this is a no white space string right so this is what system dot out print ln I'll print this string also before removing the white space and this is after removing the white space so let's run it and let's see it is working or not so here you can see that okay yeah this is my java code and this is my java code which is absolutely working fine now i'll do one thing let me check is it really removing the before space and after space also so let's run it and let's see so here you can see that okay yeah this is my uh, before space and after space and this is absolutely working fine this is the final result we are getting and after code i'm not getting any space and before t also i'm not getting any uh, space here now could be possible that guys for example let's see I'm writing once again that is for example let's see Naveen uh, automation uh, lapse and then put some space over here and then I'm generating a new line here right it means there is for example backslash n is also there and then I'm writing for example Java a uh, course and then again put some space and then again this and then again I'm writing backslash n and then I'm writing, for example, this is uh, uh, core Java tutorials like this. And then again, some space. So let's see, is it really removing all the spaces and then the new line space also it is removing or not? So let's run it and let's see. So here you can see that, yes, there are, this is the initial input. Fine. And then if you see this carefully, before Java, we have one, okay, some space. You can see this is a space and this backslash n means print Java's course in a new line and after course also there is a space over here and after labs also there is a huge space you can match it over here right same thing before core also it's coming in a new line because of backslash n and there is a space and after tutorials also there is a there is some space is available now we need to maintain the number of lines it's not like I'm just have to I have to combine all the lines together no what you just need to do is that see this is what Naveen automation labs after labs there is no space and before Java course also the space is gone and between Java and course also that space is gone and after course also there is a space this space is also gone from here same thing for core automation or for whatever core Java tutorials it's written after tutorials also there is no space and before C also there is no space so this is absolutely working uh, fine over here now I'll do one thing let me put another backslash T over here and then I'm writing some more strings like this for example let's say I'm writing Spring Boot a course like that and then put some space over here and then again I'm writing backslash T so let's see is it really taking this uh, or not so let me run it and here you can see that yeah absolutely working fine uh, see Naveen automation labs then Java course and then and then core Java tutorials because see after core Java tutorials I'm not generating any new line so what will happen core Java tutorials is there and then it will put a tab space that also will be ignored and then there is no space over here after spring boot course also there is no space over here like this so this is what which is absolutely working fine and if you notice after course also the space is gone so this is the perfect thing that it will maintain the number of lines also that is also very important so at a time of interview if you're handling this question right if you're giving the answer for this question make sure that okay you are using backslash t and then one space also uh, other than that what else you can do there is one more thing we can do it over here for example let me just uh, do one thing that uh, you can split and then on the basis of that you can uh, uh, keep appending it over there as well so that's uh, again let me just comment it out I'll create one more way of uh, removing the white spaces so for example this is your new string this is Naveen automation labs and then this is a new string dot split I'll be using it and a split on the basis of that backslash s over here like this and backslash s means split on the basis of the white space and uh, then I'll be going to store let's see this is my new uh, array which is equal to this because the split will return the array and then I'll do one thing I'll start a for each loop here which is a string e and then in this particular new array like this and I can do one thing I can maintain one string buffer or a string builder also so that I have uh, taken and this remove string I'll just keep appending over here which is what which is uh, a dot append method I can use it append with what append with e like this it means when you get this particular array you just keep iterating it 
keep and check each and every so first time we will be getting Naveen and keep appending with this uh, uh, string buffer over here and then do what then after that system dot order print ln okay so this is my new string and this is my removal string so let's see it is working or not yeah this is for this simple string it's absolutely working fine then i'll do one thing that i'll put some uh, space like that so let's see is it really uh, removing all the white spaces or not and it will is it really maintaining the new line or not i don't think so it will maintain the new line yeah it is not maintaining so here the problem is that it will generate the complete string over here like this guys okay so in this case uh, that would be a problem that it was uh, combining everything together because we are already splitting on the basis of a space so it will consider your single space multiple space plus your uh, new line space also it will generate and uh, backslash t also it will take it so that's uh, i don't think so that is a, a proper solution for that because we want to maintain what we want to maintain the uh, number of lines also right so that's why i would prefer the second the the previous approach that we were using it so let me just comment it out and let me uncomment this uh, here it is absolutely working fine so i think that's all for this uh, video if you have any other solution to uh, you know remove the white spaces or something like this you can do that you can use hash map also that also you can do it other than that uh, you can use this string utils also that also you can use it you can use replace method also that also you can use it that also you can use it directly and then trim remove the spaces from the corners and then replace all the white spaces that also you can use it both are actually same so in this case also it's printing exactly same thing here okay so that's all for this video guys please subscribe to the channel a lot of good things are coming and if you have any other issues with respect to or any other uh, solution for the white spaces please feel free to put in the comment section i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all